So the question is, what what are the most the most optimal optimal symbols? And this will be a major part of the lecture here to find this out. Yeah, so obviously the simplest form of the so the simplest symbol is obviously that we just turn a zero into minus one, for example, and a one into plus one. So this could be done. But uh, might be not very efficient, and um, then a very complex solution is that we are taking a very large chunk of uh, numbers, so something like this, and turning turning this into a quite a complex. time domain symbol here. And for every of these permutations here obviously we need we need to have a different time domain symbol here we are able to transmit and the question is obviously how to do that in a systematic way. So how can we can we go about this here? And the um, solution to this problem We'll be using here the inverse Fourier transform. So this will be the general solution. So that we are, of course, the inverse Fourier transform can be basically used as a symbol. And the idea is very simple. So we just take the inverse Fourier transform. So that's our I F F T. So that's our that's our digital data. And then at the output here, we are getting something like h of 0, h of 1, h of 2, and so on. And this is obviously a, I'm a time series here, so we can have this li like here, h of n, n, and then this gives us some funny shaped output here, which lasts t. And so, so therefore, if these samples here have the duration t, and we are chunking our digital data up here in the way that this can be fed into the Fourier transform and sent out here, we are getting symbols out here. And so this concept is called OFDM, and this is essentially where we are aiming for in this lecture here, that at the end we develop an OFDM transmission system.